everyone and welcome to Shining, Shining Stars. Stars. I'm your host Harsha Abigail Wilson and I'm your co-host Steve Imran and today we have a very special topic to talk about. Friends, we as children of God must keep on building our relationship stronger with God. We build our relationship with God through prayer, reading the Bible, worship and Fasting. fasting! Amongst everything we do to spend time with God, fasting is a very special exercise. Friends, fasting means to sacrifice food or any other thing you enjoy, regularly to honor God and spend special time with Him. It helps us to empty ourselves and prepare for God. It helps us to align our heart with God so that we may receive His provision, guidance, love, care, knowledge and so much more. And Steve, we just began the Lent season which is the 40 days period in which fasting is observed. So I believe this is the best time to learn about fasting. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Yes, Arsha, I think we should listen to some Bible verses regarding fasting from Sasha and Chris. Yes, let's go! Hello everyone, my name is Chris Imran and I will share a verse regarding Lent season. Ezra 8 verse 23 So we fast and earnestly prayed that our God would take care of us and he heard our prayer. Amen. Bye bye. Hi everyone, my name is Sasha Abigail Wilson. Today I'll be sharing a verse from Matthew 6, 16-18. And it is written as, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. I tell you, they have truly got their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you're fasting, but only to your father who is unseen and your father who sees what is done. In secret will reward you. Amen. Hallelujah! Steve, Sasha and Chris shared some very powerful verses, isn't it? Indeed, Risha, Chris shared a beautiful verse from the book of Ezra which shows that when we fast and bring our request in front of God, He listens to us. Amen. When we fast, we must pray and put our requests in front of God with the belief that He will surely help us and give us the solution or blessing we need. Amen. Amen. Other than this, Steve, Sasha also shared a very beautiful verse which explained to us that when we fast, we should not show off about it <coughs> because the reason is that when we fast, the only purpose the sole purpose is to spend time with God and please Him, which is why we don't have to show off, else be humble about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! So friends, let's watch a short video regarding fasting and learn more about it. Do you know what fasting means? Fasting is when we don't eat or drink anything for a little while. If we fast for one hour, that means we don't eat or drink anything for that hour. And if we fast for one day, that means we don't eat or drink anything for that day. Fasting is a commandment from Heavenly Father. And even though we feel hungry, fasting helps our spirit become stronger. And it helps us feel closer to Heavenly Father. We all have a spirit body that comes from Heavenly Father. When we are born, we also receive a physical body that goes together with our spirit. Sometimes our spirit and our body want different things. Like when our body wants to eat some ice cream, but our spirit knows we should eat some fruit. Or when our spirit knows it's time to be reverent, but our body wants to move around. Or when our spirit knows we should... Or when our spirit knows we should read scriptures, but our body wants to play games. Or when our body wants to take something that we see, but our spirit knows that would be stealing. 
If our spirit is strong, then it will be easier for us to do the right thing and keep the commandments. When we are fasting, it's like exercise for our spirit. We get to practice saying no to our body when our body wants something. And every time we practice, our spirit gets a little bit stronger. And we feel a little bit closer to Heavenly Father. The scriptures teach us to pray a lot when we are fasting. When our spirit is feeling strong and we are feeling close to Heavenly Father, that's a really good time to pray. We'll be able to feel the spirit and we'll be willing to listen. And when we pray, we can feel even closer to Heavenly Father. In the scriptures, we can learn about lots of different people who fasted and prayed. Moses fasted and prayed when he received the Ten Commandments from the Lord. Anna worshipped God by fasting and praying in the temple. Alma fasted and prayed many days to receive a testimony from the Holy Ghost. And Jesus Christ fasted and prayed when he was being tempted to break Heavenly Father's commandments. When you are learning to fast, it will be hard to do because you will feel hungry. But if you try your best, you will be able to feel your spirit get a little bit stronger and you can feel closer to Heavenly Father. Oh, Harsha, that was really informative and I'm really motivated now. Friends, are you? Yes, Steve. I believe their answer is yes. And did you notice that in the video, it was mentioned that sometimes it can be difficult for us to control during fasting. But I truly believe that Holy Spirit can help us. Do you think the same? Yes, Harsha, and Holy Spirit makes a fasting easy for us when he asks his help. Other than this, friends, it's not only food that you can sacrifice, else anything that you do regularly. Like playing games, watching cartoons, you can decide to include these. Amen, Steve. That's a very good point. That as you mentioned, that anything we do regularly and you give very good examples that each child can relate to like playing games and watching cartoons. This is a good idea. And other than this, friends, if you are a beginner, this is your first time fasting or even if, you know, it has been just a few years that have you have started fasting, you can still keep fasts for few hours. Like if you are a beginner, you can keep a fast, you can skip a meal or any activity like Steve mentioned for two hours or five hours. So our point here is to encourage you that fast wholeheartedly to do what suits you but do it wholeheartedly. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about if God will think that you fasted for only a short time. No, he will appreciate you very much. Yes, amen, I believe. And friends, while you fast, you should give maximum time to worship and prayer so that the real purpose of fasting is fulfilled. And while you are praying and worship, Put your requests in front of God and all of us have different requests like some may ask for good grades, some may ask for new clothes or even if they want something else, you know. Steve, do you have any examples? Yes, sir, sir. some people may want a car or a new home. That's excellent. Indeed, friends. So whatever you want, you can simply ask God through fasting and he will surely provide you. Amen. Hasha, in the video, we also had examples of those people who fasted. These include 
Jesus, Anna and Moses and many more. Yes, true Steve and I was watching the video and I felt that these examples really help us understand fasting and I believe friends that the video and the examples it had, it helped you understand fasting and they all had different requests. Did you notice that they all had different requests but still God listened to them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Harsha, that's true. We all have different requests. Some may want emotional help, some may need guidance and some may ask for money and there's so much more. So friends, our point here is that whatever is your request, just share it with God and surely God will help you and provide you just what you need. Amen. Amen. Harsha, speaking of prayer, let's pray now. Sure. Friends, let's join our hands and close our eyes. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful segment today which showed us how to fast and how to spend time with you. Lord, I believe that now that we have learned, each one of us will put it into practice. Thank you, Lord, for always guiding us and thank you, Holy Spirit, for always being there at our aid. I pray for my friends who are watching right now that whatever they may ask you, I believe, Lord, that you will provide them and they will come back to us with a testimony. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity opportunity to learn about fasting and we will surely put it to practice. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. So friends, spend time with God through fasting. We believe you will receive new blessings and feel closer to God. We will see you again with another glorious episode and an inspiring topic. But for now, bye bye, stay blessed, stay grace and keep watching Fuzzle TV. TV.